guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to share with you guys a super easy and delicious recipe that my mom makes all the time and it happens to be my favorite um to be honest i don't know the name for it my mom doesn't know the name for it she just makes it she just makes um the vegetables with a delicious sauce um it's very similar to a guisado but it's not a guisado but in case you guys want to help make this super easy and delicious recipe just stay tuned and i'll show you how Alrighty, guys so let's get started with our ingredients so for this recipe we're going to need two pounds of chuck pot roast six ounces of tomato paste, four cups of beef broth, three Roma tomatoes, one pound of broccoli, one head of cauliflower, one pound of asparagus, 25 chile de arbol pots, three potatoes, three garlic cloves, two beef bouillons, two bay leaves, one teaspoon of oregano, and one teaspoon of cumin, salt, garlic salt, and black pepper. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right guys, so first we're going to start by cutting our vegetables and you can cut them as big or as small as you want. Just going to remove them. And I like to have mine bite size. So for me, this is what I'm going for. And you can leave the stem if you want. Me, I don't like them that big. So just cut them off. All right, so once we have our broccoli florets all nice and cut, I'm going to transfer them to a strainer where we're going to be combining all of our vegetables and then later to rinse them. Okay. So next, our cauliflower. So I'm just going to cut it in half. And then just do the same as we did with the broccoli. I guess enough for our asparagus. I'm just going to remove the ends. And I'm just going to cut them into three pieces. Okay. Transfer it with your broccoli and cauliflower. Okay, so now we're just going to rinse them and then set them to the side. All right, so now we're going to peel our potatoes. All right, so now we're going to grab our potato and cut it in half. Then we're going to cut into three strips and then cut it the opposite side. Now I'm just going to transfer my potatoes into a strainer where we're going to be adding water so like that they don't change color because they're going to be waiting for a while before they get cooked. So set them to the side. All right, so now we're going to grab our meat and we're going to cut it into small cubes. And I'm just going to get rid of some of the fat. So cut them this big. The bigger you cut it, the longer it's going to take to cook. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys, so once we have our meat all nicely cut, we're going to season it with garlic salt. Just make sure that you add a good amount as well as a black pepper and mix it all together. Make sure that all your meat is nice and seasoned. And lastly, the salt. Okay. So once we have that, we are ready to start and make our sauce. All right guys, so in a small pot, we're going to add our three Roma tomatoes and our chile de arbol. And we're just going to cover them with water. Okay, so now we're going to set it on our stove. Okay, right, so now we're just going to set it on high heat and we're just going to wait for them to come to a boil. All right, so once our chilies and tomatoes have come to a boil, we're going to turn it off, strain them from the water, and now we are ready to make our sauce. Okay, right, so in our blender, we're going to add our chile de árbol and our three Roma tomatoes along with more more than half of our tomato paste and then we're going to add our two beef bouillons three garlic cloves one teaspoon of oregano one teaspoon of cumin and a half a teaspoon of black pepper 
and we're going to blend it with our four cups of beef broth. And if you don't have beef broth, you can use water. So now we're just going to blend everything together until we have a smooth sauce. All right, so once we have our delicious sauce ready, now we are ready to get cooking. Okay, so in a large frying pan, we're going to set it on medium high heat. We're going to add a little bit of oil and we're just going to wait for that to heat up. All right, so once our oil is hot, we're going to throw in our meat. And now we're just going to mix it until it gets nice and brown. All right guys, so after five minutes, this is what our meat should look like. So now we're going to pour our sauce. And into my blender, I'm going to add about two cups of water. Just to get the remaining sauce. two bay leaves we're going to cover it and let that cook for about one hour on medium heat all right guys so after the hour we're going to open it this is what our meat should look like it should be soft by now so at this point we're going to add our potatoes So now we're going to cover it for 10 minutes. All right guys, so after 10 minutes, we're going to add in our vegetables. Got it in the pot. All right, so now we're going to cover them and we're going to let them steam for about 10 to 15 minutes or until all of our vegetables are nice and soft. All right guys, so after 15 minutes, my vegetables should be nice and soft. And of course, if you like your broccoli and cauliflower um, overcooked, then you can just leave them in there. But the potatoes are soft and the meat is super tender. So now we are ready to serve. And let me tell you that smells delicious. And let me show you that the meat is super tender. And I like to eat it while it's hot. So now we are ready to serve. And guys, and I'm just serving it with rice, and I like to squeeze out some lime juice over my meat and vegetables. And of course, with some tortilla. So get your tortilla, roll it, and enjoy. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. And I have a spoonful of everything. Are you ready? Still a little hot. Seriously, so delicious. The combination of everything with the sauce is just perfect. And the sauce, you guys, just, you know, we use chile de árbol and they are spicy, but in this recipe, it's just perfect. It's not spicy. My kids really enjoy this dish too. So they're able to eat it without a problem. So I hope you guys give this recipe a try. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make this super easy and delicious recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, no. Uh. Eres perfecta mujer. De la cabeza a los pies Tú pasas de mi nivel Tú tienes el piquete De la forma que
forma que tú besas más. 